this is a EI28 ferrite right core transformer and uh, for the motivation of uh, 12 level 2 24 plus and uh, minus 24 voltage we have to modify the transformer and uh, for this we are uh, making a 303 turns of uh, primary winding on the transformer and uh, this will the input of this transformer so this is the uh, central tab and uh, here you can see the three turns the first turn is complete and uh, the second one and the third uh, turns is completed and uh, we have to solder the wires on the pins and the uh, second uh, side of this uh, coil will be three turns also so we are using uh, in the configuration of push pull so for this we have to wind with uh, central tap coiling and uh, this is the secondary coil of this transformer and uh, we are using a uh, thin wires of uh, multiple string so that uh, we can reduce the uh, uh, losses so here you can see I am uh, winding uh, 606 turns for which we can give uh, output of 20020 20 volts at the output so here you can see it's a uh, six turns and uh, this is the center point of this uh, coil so this will be our ground pin and uh, after it we complete the another six turns so here you can see the transformer is completed and uh, after connecting all of the soldering and uh, completing the whole thing the transformer after look like this so here we can see the components we need for the switching of the transformer we are using a IRF Z44 and channel MOSFET and uh, after this we are using a uh, 50 volts 100, 100 uh, 1000 microfarad capacitor and uh, this will connect at the output and uh, for the input I am using a 50 volt 470 microfarad capacitor and uh, this is the BY28 uh, uh, short key diode and uh, it's a 200 volt short key diode so here you can see I am mounting the MOSFETs both MOSFETs on the 0 PCB and uh, this is the short key diode which will connect at the output side so the middle point uh, will left uh, and will connect at the capacitors uh, series portion so this is the negative portion which is connected at the diode and uh, also the capacitors are connected in the series and the middle one is the ground portion which is uh, uh, and uh, this is the 12 volt input line and uh, this is the output line which is the uh, plus and the ground and the minus wires as soon and uh, this is the PWM controller uh, uh, female header pin and uh, for which uh, I am using a SGE3525 PWM controller module which is also uh, I have used in my previous video for the making of uh, inverter and uh, this circuit have a uh, voltage feedback uh, so here you can see I am using a 12 volt input as a power source for the testing of this uh, converter so as you can see I am uh, powered the module and the output was uh, 24 volts and uh, we can uh, also adjust the output voltage as uh, in the bug mode and the boost mode so we are decreasing the output voltage from 24 to below the voltage and uh, the minimum voltage uh, here we have uh, almost uh, 6 volts that means uh, we can convert uh, 24 or 12 volt to 24 volts uh, into 6 volts so this can be also used a buck converter now in this case we are boosting the voltage so here the output is uh, here maximum of uh, 40 volt uh, 48 volts so in this case the voltage at the output will be plus 24 and the minus 24 volts as uh, when I connect the 
first tip terminal of the multimeter to the ground portion so the one side is the plus 24 and the other is minus 24 volts and uh, which is very stable at the load case and uh, here I am testing this uh, blue color 12 volt LED so the output is set at uh, 24 volts so with the ground reference uh, we are getting 12 volts and minus 12 volts at the output so the circuit can be useful for powering high power amplifiers which requires dual power supply or in the circuit that requires uh, ground and uh, negative voltage like uh, in the operational amplifier circuits so here you can see the red and the blue LED are uh, brightness also very good so here I am testing a 775 12-volt DC motor and the motor is uh, rotating very fast you can see on the screen and uh, also the output uh, of the power uh, converter is very high as compared in the ampere so the circuit diagram of uh, this converter is uh, given in the description and uh, also the PDW controller module which is also given in the description so thanks for watching and uh, I will see in the next video now